Hello and welcome to Just Ask Wednesday. I'm Sharon and we got a great question from Janie who is a mother of a two and a four year old, a young mom. She asks this question, how can we actually keep ourselves germ free or safer as we grocery shop? Because let's face it, we are all social distancing, we are quarantining ourselves inside our home, but the one place that we actually go quite consistently is the grocery store. So how can you? First of all, Janie, it's nearly impossible to keep yourself germ-free. You're gonna come into contact with germs, but there are a number of precautions that you can actually take. First of all, don't take your kids because if you take a two and a four year old, you're tripling the odds that you'll come into contact with coronavirus. Second thing, wear disposable gloves. You know, and what's happening and what we're starting to see happen is that people are reusing their disposable gloves. There's a reason we call them disposable. When you enter the grocery store, put them on. When you leave the grocery store, take them off. And if I can, I'll show you how to take off a pair of disposable gloves safely, just in case you do come into contact with coronavirus. Also remember, Janie, that you're getting in a car, you're handling a door handle, and your hands frequently go around a steering wheel. So there's a reason we call them disposable, utilize and throw away disposable gloves. The second thing is wear a mask. And I mean wear a mask. It doesn't matter if it's a disposable mask. If it is a disposable mask, great, because dispose of it when you're done. Let me tell you what a mask like this that is a disposable mask does. It cuts down the contact with your face by 40%. In other words, my hands are not gonna go into my mouth, my hands are not gonna go up my nose when I have a mask on. It's not gonna be happening. Think about what you're wearing, Janie. In other words, protect your body because we honestly, I honestly can't figure out how long coronavirus stays on a surface because one person will say, oh, stays on there three days. The next person will say, oh, stays on the surface for nine days, then the next person will say 20 days. And so I'm a little confused. So think about your steering wheel. Think about your door handle. Rinse them off quite frequently. So if you're wearing gloves, possibly a hat, even a pair of sunglasses, yeah, you might look a little strange, but think about the protection of those children, your two and a four year old. Think about the protection of your parents, their grandparents, and your grandparents. Another thing you should take great note of is cleaning your cart. I do it excessively. So if the grocery store is not providing sanitary wipes, alcohol, to wipe that down, you should go to management and ask for it because they should be. And you know what? Be excessive in it. Another thing that I am doing is I'm protecting and myself by providing myself with an emergency bag. I'm just making a couple of emergency bags now. What's in my emergency bag? It's a bag I keep in the car. I'm keeping Lysol wipes so I can wipe down my steering wheel after I go to the grocery store. I'm keeping sanitizer that my good friend Tina Jones, Tina Brown made for me out of out of a couple of different plants and alcohol, I keep extra disposable gloves. You know, gloves you throw out. I keep an extra thing of a sanitizer in case they see somebody and somebody wants some sanitizer. I keep some extra masks because I use disposable masks. And let me tell you something else. That's not all that you should be doing. I want you to think about this. When I went to the grocery store last week, and I'm trying to go just one time a week to get the necessities, and I'm trying my best to plan ahead. In other words, think of how you can be more efficient at the grocery store by buying exactly what you need, getting in and getting out as soon as possible, disposing of your gloves, disposing of this when you get home, 
take your clothes off, throw everything into a washing machine. So be a little considerate of what you're wearing to the grocery store. And you know, I have my friends even washing off their shoes. If they come to see me for some given reason and they enter my home, I don't know about coronavirus and the surface. So plan accordingly to be safe. But let me show you the biggest culprit that there is in our world today. Anyway, I was telling you last week, I went one time and I bet you about 10% of the cashiers, the patrons in my grocery stores wore these and they actually wore that. This week, that's about 30%. So let's talk about when you don't. So the other 70% is not. And let me show you the biggest culprit, this thing that's called the cell phone. Did you realize 80%, not 80%, we look at our phone 80 times a day. Now, the number after 79, you heard me right. If you don't believe me, Google it. Because I really didn't believe that at first, that I look at this cell phone 80 times a day on the average in America. That means we're putting this beloved thing up to our face, the place where coronavirus can enter. The second biggest culprit inside a grocery store is the cart itself. So let me show you, first of all, how to take this disposable. Remember, you're going to put them on the minute you enter and you're going to put them on the minute you leave. So you can see me take my hands on the inside. I'm going to peel that out so I don't have to touch the outside of that. And I'm going to grab it and go there. Then I'm going to pull. I'm going to take my fingers on the inside and I'm going to pull just like I did and hopefully it will cooperate. There you go. And then I throw it away in the receptacle that's right by the grocery store. But let's talk about what happens. This railing, this mop handle, represents the shopping cart. And this part right here represents the cell phone. And I've put really dirty germs on this and dirty germs on that. If we're not wearing a mask, and I dispose of that too. Think about this. When we hold onto a rail, unless you can disinfect it to know, we push at this and look at that. Ooh. Or think, think about the one thing that I've done this week is I didn't take this baby inside the grocery store because somebody's always calling me, first of all, or my daughter knew I was going to the grocery, Casey. So what does she do? calls. Oh, hi, Casey. What do you need? Oh, you need some cotton balls? Okay. So you can see that germs do exist on these nasty things called cell phones. And unless you're washing it, even if you looked at your cell phone 40 times a day, imagine the germs, you know, and then you think about the times you see your neighbor there that you haven't seen for a long time and all of a sudden your nose itches and you've got a germ right by the nostril, the opening of an area where coronavirus can go. There are a lot of things, Janie, you can do to protect you, to protect your children, to protect your parents and grandparents. And so we can stop this coronavirus that's shutting us down. Germs. We can't live in a bubble, but there are a lot of things that we can actually do to stop and we can be more cautious. Keep your babies at home. You got a question? Ask us. Stay the healthiest that you can be. Coronavirus's biggest nightmare is your immunity. And I'll tell you, staying clean is a big name of the game. Stay clean because you don't want germs like you see on me. Have a great Wednesday and we'll see you next Wednesday.